Oh gosh. Oh. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am extremely excited. Lord Kurt I'm sure is excited as well. Today is the first video of the series of the electric go-kart that we are building. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I was gonna, I thought there was more to say, but there's really not. So we, this is an exciting time because right now we are bringing it in to the official work bay. This is where all the work gets done and you know, project by project. And so we're gonna bring it in here. First of all, we're gonna clean it up and then we're gonna bring the go-kart in here and we're gonna get straight to work. Exciting times. We're about to troll K1 speed if you guys forgot. I posted some shorts and Instagram stuff about it, but the electric go-kart build, we're making insanely fast, so we can basically troll anybody we want. You know, supercars, Tesla Plaid, we're gonna troll all kinds of people. Lamborghini just came out with a go-kart, electric go-kart that does like 20 miles per hour or something. It's just a shame to say Lamborghini and 20 mile per hour go-kart in the same sentence. <sighs> anyway, so we're gonna troll them. We're gonna troll K1 Speed who actually challenged us to this. So K1 Speed sent us this slightly wrecked, slightly damaged uh, go-kart chassis that wasn't designed for outdoor high performance street use. It was one of their indoor carts, but it still can handle some good speed. They're building a new track in San Diego and they challenged us to see if we could beat their uh, outdoor pro series go-karts. Uh, and we're gonna just absolutely freaking destroy them. So let's get this thing cleaned up. The garage cleaned up and then pull that go-kart in and get the freaking work. Well, here she is. Let's get her pulled into the garage, man. I'm so excited to get the thing. How heavy do you think that is? Um, that was only like 150 in the hand. Yeah. The heavy side. It is a uh, definitely an indoor cart in terms of like what it's equipped with. It's yeah. Got, I pulled this off earlier. It's got a really good rear axle with brakes on and everything. But yep. most of the high-powered carts have disc brakes in front on the outside of these steering uh, hardware but this one doesn't. Ah. So all power and braking comes from the rear wheel. Yeah. yeah. Not safe, well. <laughs> but we do is safe, you know? Yeah, who cares? We'll just put more power than any car's ever had and then see if it survives. Yeah, exactly. You know, what can go wrong? Live on the edge, that's where all the fun is at in There's life. A, I'm gonna steer it while I push it through. Yeah, the yeah, sounds Probably. good. First drive in the go-kart. <laughs> I think we're dragging something. Hang on, I'm gonna pick you up. Thanks, <laughs> man, wow. All right, here we go. Let's freaking do it. We'll see what that is once we take it apart. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Okay. This is nice. Okay, some rust pulling in here. <laughs> wow. There's actually probably something just under it. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, pull me back. Pull me back. There's a clip. Oh, there we go. That, that'll make it easier. Go ahead. That was like, oh, it's we were... like a wedge. There we go. Hey, that's smooth, man. This is nice. Okay. Wow. Picture this thing with a hundred horsepower. Dang, son. Get it. Woo. All right, pause. <laughs> then reverse. Beep. 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 All right. All right. So now you only got like 10 horsepower. Freaking sweet. <laughs> yeah, I know. This thing is going to be a freaking blast, man. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> Dude, this thing's gonna be so much fun. The scariest machine you've ever been a part of. Everything about it is a bad idea. Bro, it just challenged like the richest people you could find. Like, look, I'll challenge you and your Ferrari right are now. Gonna, are you gonna challenge a Tesla Plaid? <laughs> I mean, yeah. if I win, I'll challenge it. We'd eat those things I'll take a plan all day, day and night. All right, this is a big moment. The cart is officially in its work area. Lori Kurt just took the first part off of this thing. And here is the inner workings of the cart. Now, K1 Speed sent us this chassis again. There was damage right here. Obviously, it had fallen out of a truck or some kind of a damage, or maybe, I don't even know. It doesn't look like it was crashed or flipped or something. Yeah, it does. Because this is the only damage here. There is one sheared off Allen head on this. We're gonna need to take the Got rear it. axle apart, fix some of the things on this rear axle. But otherwise, the only thing really that's damaged is this seat. Yep. And the whole structure, so somehow there's a lot of force applied to the back of this and it snapped some welds, bent it over. Yeah, maybe it just got rear-ended really hard. But <laughs> Who knows? It got popped up on top. 
Oh, like could be. Anyway, but K1 Speed challenged us. This is the crappy frame that they gave us. They were pretty much wanting us to be as disadvantaged as possible because they don't want to get smoked. It doesn't even matter. No, they don't want that much smoke. You call out the engine, you're gonna get smoked. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so this used to be an electric indoor race cart. Obviously, they took their batteries out and their motors out. So they gave us basically just a rolling chassis, no powertrain at all. And so that's a blank slate for us to do our work, put the freaking fattest powertrain possible in this thing um dude I, I say we just bring out a Let's couple of the parts and show people what's up yeah all right so here's what we have so far these are the main components for the build powertrain right Power battery yeah. controllers motors that's it 102 volt nominal lithium iron phosphate headway cell battery pack uh it peaks out at 116.8 volts so it's pretty high voltage, higher than most go-karts are. These cells are able to put out 200 amps each. We got eight in parallel, so this thing could put out 1600 amps continuous until it was dead, if we wanted it. So there's four of these. Each of these boxes is one module. Total yep. battery weight, like 160 pounds, like 40 pounds per module. Uh, it's five kilowatt hours, roughly. They're super high output, not super high capacity. So it's about half the size of some of the motorcycle batteries we built in terms of capacity but it's like four times the power of our most powerful one. Yeah. So these will be putting out tons of power. Just made for a short term insane fun. Almost no voltage sag, probably still good for a 10 mile race if you wanted it to do it. Yeah. But you would never need to do more than a few laps if you're trying just to burn somebody. That's right, quick. dude. That's right. all we need to do is troll people for about two minutes. That's it. That's it. They're already <laughs> so embarrassed, they just leave on their own. Exactly. Oh, and by the way, the uh, battery packs were from Battery Hookup, who were gonna sponsor the build. They were. But they were all excited about it. And this video is ghosted. not sponsored by Battery Hookup. Tell me about, that's right. This, <laughs> these did not come from Battery Hookup. They did Can not. Recommend that you we're not even gonna say the, that word anymore. Yeah. We're not even gonna mention I'm them gonna anymore. Call it a Cell Connect. Yeah. And they were so embarrassed, they even put the Ninja, our favorite YouTuber. They were, they so, were so embarrassed. They were taking your money. Yeah, because we had to order those like everybody <laughs> else. Yeah, so. so. Anyway, this is not sponsored by Battery Hookup. This is like the premiere Chinese manufacturer of motors, QS Motors. This is like the umbrella powertrain company that overarches them. And they have a new far driver controller series, which are the up and coming, super customizable, super accessible, yet super high powered um, controller modules. This one is the 96 volt nominal, which goes up to 120 peak and 850 phase amp model, which puts out 450 from the battery. So there was nothing more high powered than this available at the time of this video now. They are mm -hmm. working on making higher powered ones for uh, sine cosine sensors. These motors are specific. The high powered motors do not have hall sensors and they have high powered hall sensor controllers but no high powered sine cosine sensor controllers. So it's like, why would you even, that's like, seems backwards. But yeah. they're making the bigger and more powerful ones for that. At the time of this though, this is the best we got. So what we did is said, let's just, double everything up we got two of these feeding two of the grossly underrated 8000 watt qs motors these can take 30 kilowatts happily that's crazy produce dude. probably i mean we'll have to see what the testing gives us but it'll yeah. easily put out 40 horsepower per yeah from the shaft that's crazy. Uh, you want to just spin that around for us? See what, yeah. see what we're looking at right there? Yeah. Just like, yeah, just show yeah. us show us so a little bit around it. Like, these are thin insulated, but two gauge cables. I did some measurements on them. So there's two gauge phase, phase cables. These will plug straight into the far driver controller. Um, it's got an auto learn function. So minimal setup required for this. That's you don't so have to sick. be an expert. That's so um, sick. You can customize it from there if you want to, but it should be able to work with just a couple of computer clicks. Yep. Um, this is like, 40 pounds for that one. Yeah, they're heavy. They um, are beasts. That's so absolutely for sure. It'll put out all the power that we need it to. We're gonna feed <laughs> as much power as is available on the market. And we're gonna supply it with the most powerful battery that you could really put this, um, put on the back end of this. Yeah. So four of those, two of those, two of those. Obviously we've got. I say let's just pull them all out. Let's just, okay. let's just pretty much pull everything out. All right, we went ahead and just pulled everything out just to visualize for you guys what is actually going on in the cart. You guys can see how big all of this stuff is in comparison with the actual cart, but it's all gonna fit. Laura Kurt measured it and this guy, I mean, he never misses. We'll make it fit. So <laughs> we'll make it I, fit. I never miss because I'm always able to adjust. That's how it <laughs> Exactly. Works. So we'll have to do some modification. Obviously these packs are going on the sides of the seat. So I have two per side. I'm gonna have to cut down some of those mounting points. Like this was designed for a specific set of cells. Yeah. So we'll make it our own. Um, and then each of these actually, I want to show where these are going to mount. So 
on the axle, there's a differential here that has mounting points for two sprockets. What's gonna happen is we're gonna build a tray across the top with mounting plates for the motors. They're gonna line up with each side of this differential. One sprocket on each side and a chain going down from the, mo the motors will be lined up facing outward from here. And then chains going down to power that's from both sides. Hmm. So that full power going straight to this differential. It actually works really well. I don't know if I can. If I play with it, either one of these wheels, when it spins, spins that there. Yeah. Huh. So it's pretty cool. I hadn't seen a go-kart that had like a, a through shaft with a nice setup for a differential and two sprockets, but that will work perfect. Yeah. We'll run the stock brakes plus regen. Again, the downside is there's no braking from the front wheels. We're not going to adjust that. It's just going to be a death machine. <laughs> exactly. That's part of the fun. <laughs> so it'll be all power, all brake from the back. Um, you'll get nice fishtails either on Dude, acceleration there we go. or deceleration. There we go. Twice the fun. I'm going to probably need to adjust some of the spacing of this frame. Yep. If I put them this way, I might not be able to fit both side by side. Let's see, I haven't had a chance to do this in clear opening yet. Not quite, so we're about a couple yeah. inches short. I mean, if nothing else, if you line them up that way, you can just cut this right here and then yep. extend it that way. Easily. Easily. Or maybe I could turn this one this way. I want to put a freaking sweet body kit on here if I have to fabricate it or not. I mean, obviously I will, but we want to showcase kind of like, I mean, kind of like supercars, how they have the glass to kind of showcase the engine that's really like the diamond of exotic cars and whatnot and we kind of want to showcase the powertrain on this as well so we, we definitely want to do some plexiglass work anyway that's the plan we want to do some really cool work and this thing i want to look like an exotic uh, you know just like a race cart let's continue on here we got the motors there doubling up everything two battery packs yeah. we got two throttles they're a duplicate of, of this setup here. Obviously, one's gonna be for the gas, the throttle, actual like power side of it. They're really nice potentiometer throttles. You can see they're stiff. They have, you can hear when it clicks on and then it's potentiometer from there. Very nice throttle. My original intention was to make one a regen brake that was variable. Um, far drivers, when we were looking at chopping all this stuff out, far drivers actually don't have variable regen, um, but they do have regen on release. So I think I'll do instead is have one throttle that when it's on, it's powering, and when you release past that click, right there, it'll turn on regen braking to a small degree, enough that it's be able to like do the one pedal driving, kind of like like some Nissans have, yeah. where you gas, brake, gas, brake. For sure. So kind of replicate that with a single throttle, um, and then leave the mechanical brake linkage unchanged, so your left foot will still control hard braking. If right. you need to just to do a quick deceleration for a curve, you could just use your regen, hypothetically. It'll be more aggressive than it's comfortable, probably. Mm -hmm. Just because if you're tr trying to slow down in a go-kart, you're trying to slow down. Yeah. So why not just make so it actually slow you down? as possible. You're supposed to get max Gs all on, the time. On, off, on, <laughs> off, right? Yeah. No, there's no coasting time. Why would you waste time right. coasting? Um, and some hardcore race car drivers are going to say, you got to coast a certain point. Okay, bro. <laughs> yeah, shut that On up. or off. Two settings. <laughs> um, so we'll, we'll have, this is actually a really cool um, design when that's all done. I think that'll work yeah. really well. For sure. It's weird because we haven't done a build where you have unlimited space. Like yeah. I can go up, I can go sideways, I can do whatever I want to. I imagine that in a couple of days of fabricating, we'll have this all set up, lined up how it's gonna be, and then it's yeah. just gonna be beautification will actually take longer than the fabrication. For sure. So you, my job's The craziest the part is this is the first build. You don't have to build and fabricate an entire battery pack from cells. Yeah. This is legit ready to slap in there and you just solder some stuff onto it for connections and whatnot. And from the and place it. that we didn't get these from, they're actually pretty the place. <laughs> I think it was like 250 per module. So it's a thousand dollar battery overall for that yeah. much output. These cells would cost a lot more if they weren't already pre-installed. If I bought yeah. these separately, it would have taken more money aside from all the work that would have had to go into it. For sure, yeah, those are great deals. Yeah. And it's just got <laughs> for what you get. So you just, one's positive, one's negative. You just screw like a ring terminal that connects to the next module onto here, connects to the next. They just literally go in series. Yeah. And all you have to do is test the voltages on these pins to figure out which cell goes to which, and you hook your BMS directly up to these little output plugs. Yeah. So there's no reason to disassemble this. Yeah, dude, that's um, so that's super exciting. Didn't mention this. We got running double contactors. Basically, from the battery, we'll run one set of power to each controller separately, because <laughs> wiring for 900 battery amps. We're running 900 <laughs> battery amps at peak output. Um, you want to be able to double up, make sure that's super 
um, unresistive. For sure. So we'll double, double up everywhere from the battery to the motor. For sure, dude. Anyway, yeah, we're very excited to get going on this. This is such a big day. I love that we're just looking at it all, all out here, ready to get going. It has been sitting in our backyard for a super long time as we're finishing other projects up. You know, if we don't start working on it this video, we might just wrap it up here um, and then just actually start working on it and tearing into it next video. Yeah, we're ready to rock and roll on this thing. It won't take nearly as long as other builds because Kurt's not having to fabricate the entire battery pack. He just hooks them all up, literally just pre-installed, just slap them in there, solder them up, weld some stuff on, and then bodywork time, and then troll K1 speed and Lamborghini it's and like a four steps to everyone success. else. <laughs> four steps to success. There we go. All right. Well, that's going to wrap the video up, I guess. Uh, so we'll, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. If you can follow us on Instagram, we do live updates on there. My previous one got deleted. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> if you guys want free content every day uh, and stay up to date with our builds, uh, the.inja.official <laughs> on Instagram. So go follow us there. Make sure to subscribe. If you can leave a comment and a like just for that YouTube algorithm for us that would be awesome i appreciate every one of you guys thanks for watching we'll catch you next time